All right, so guys, we are we are back with round six between Dan Levinson, aka D Train, and James Beck, aka James Speed One. Um, both competitors at this point are three and two. Neither is guaranteed to make top cut. However, um, both of them need to win this game to have any chance whatsoever to make the top eight. However, since since 51 people started this tournament, the the winner. The winner should at least get some CP. And James is also promising a very interesting Pokemon that will be coming out into this into this battle, so I'm gonna find it very interesting to see what he brings. Alright, so, um, <coughs> James's, um, team ha has a Mamoswine, a Rotom Heat, a Breloom, a Salamence, a Milo Milotic, and yes, that is a Riolu. <laughs> so, um, I, w I, would s I would say, um, the Riolu coming out would, ma would make this game worth it, even neither of them make Top Gun. Oh, and, and Caleb, regarding the bad four ones, they were they were paired up with um with people who have been on stream already. Although if they're four and one, they're they're not bad. <laughs> hmm. All right, unfortunately, I I do not know Dan's team at the moment, so I do not know um what he's gonna bring to counter that likely pranks the Riolu plus the other stuff that um James will be presenting. Although, although if Dan has any intimidators, he sh he might be wary of leading them because of Milotic's comp competitive. <laughs> yeah, I I I mean I I I I know Caleb. Just um. I'm I'm basically I'm basically just clearing it up for um for people here who may not be part of the Nugget Bridge community. And and anyway the um the, the battle's gonna start. Let's see. D Train's gonna leave with Tyranitar and Zapdos, while James is gonna counter with his Mamoswine and Rotom. That mammal swine on James' side threatens both of D Train's Pokemon. Um, the the Tyranitar in turn does threaten the Rotom Heat, but um, that Zapdos really can't do anything to either. So um, what we might see is a possible um Tailwind from it, depending on how bulky it is, or more likely it'll probably just switch out immediately. It'll be interesting to see whether Tyranitar stays in and tries to take out the Rotom. If if it's not the special variant, it um it risk being burned by it before it can um knock out the Rotom with a rock rock type attack. So Dan's gonna have to play this carefully. Mamoswine goes for for the protect, which shows that um James's uh, Mamoswine is not scarfed. Tyranitar goes for the rock slide, so it opts to stay in. Rock's gonna fall on the Rotom. It's gonna do about 75 percent. Citrus Berry is gonna activate, bringing about about half health. We'll see if it flinches or not. The Zapdos is going to go for the Tailwind, which, which is, which basically gives an important speed boost to the um to the Tyranitar, but it's going to be nullified by the Thunder Wave that um that James has showed. And Zapdos is going to be buffeted by the Sandstorm, showing as not safety goggled. Also, also there's no lefties, so it's probably could be Citrus Berry. We don't know. That tailwind um, is essentially nullified by by the thunder wave, which um, which means that um, James probably got the better of that turn. So let's see how um Dan plays around the paralysis. James's Rotom is going to go for the protect, which means probably going to need to see a nice little crash or a um or a uh, 
the hell is it called? <laughs> An earthquake, but the zap does, does go for the heat wave. That's about 35%. The earthquake comes out, so he's... He's targeting um, the the Tyranitar with that, obviously, and it's and it's just gonna wipe it out in one hit. On um, Pyrite, I was talking about the Zapdos, not the Rotom. But anyway, the um, the Sil Sylveon is going to be switched in from the D train. Now the Rotom is going to be able to resist the Hyper Voice, but still probably going to do a lot, of, especially with specs. The Mamoslang goes for the Protect. The, the Thunderbolt goes into the Rotom, which means Hyper Voice definitely will knock it out at this range. So, so, so that's going to even up the Pokemon count at 3-3. So the Rotom faints. Hmm. Can we possibly see Riolu from James here? Yes, here comes the Riolu. Alright, so Zapdos is going to go for the Heat Wave, it's not going to do much to the Riolu, which means probably holding Evilite, and but here comes the Hyper Voice. Since it is fighting, that's that's going to be the end of um, both the Mamoswine and the Riolu. Yeah, so, so, so anyway, I'm... Um, Honestly, Dan probably does have this game wrapped up. Um, James James has one po Pokemon left, but it but it is a Salamence, which is prop, pro probably the Mega. If there's any um there's any Pokemon that he could, that James could use to possibly get back into this game, it would be a Mega Salamence. But um and and also as we saw that Zapdos carrying um Heat Wave, there's a decent chance it's not carrying Hidden Power Ice, which means Salamence might be able to take the attacks, but it's Got to, it's got to get rid of the um, Sylveon before it does anything. And I, <laughs> and it just goes for the Dragon Dances. Um, it, I, I guess James is just conceding here. As the Thunderbolt um comes in, comes onto the Salamence, and the Hyper Voice is going to knock out the Salamence and end James's top cut hopes. Dan will be four and two, and he will have to wait for the standings to come out. And um. This also shows why um, maybe maybe you shouldn't styles too much in VGC because um that real just got switched in and murdered. But but it's a learning lesson for all of us and and James will um probably do better in the next tournament as he's a very good player. Chuppa is also three and two, and he's playing Sohabe to try and um to try and survive and get the top cut. Hey yeah, James, you want you want to talk to the chat about Yoriolu? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the plan, Chris. Any, anyway, I have a special guest next to me. It's um, it's James Speed One. He's gonna tell you guys about his Riolu. Hey everyone, James back here. And as you saw, I used Riolu at the Premier Challenge. Riolu was a Pokemon I tested in 2014. Had some very good memories with it. Uh, the reason I used it was Follow Me was very lacking in 2014. There weren't many Pokemon that could get it. Riolu was one of those Pokemon that did get Follow Me, and I was able to use it with a Violite. The main strategy for Riolu is to set up Screech 
with paired with a Mega, such as my Mega Salamence, is able to KO a lot of stuff at minus 2 defense. It was able to knock out a Blastoise earlier in this tournament, and Riola was actually more bulkier than you expect. It was able to take 3 Icicle Crashes from a Mammal Swine, which is no small feat for a Pokemon with base 40 defense. It also... Follow Me was just such an important move, it allowed my Salamence to set Dragon Dance if I couldn't get the Screech off. At minus 2 Mega Mawile, it's in Earthquake range for my Mega Salamence, so that's why I used Riolu. Riolu plus Mega Salamence is an amazing combo, I loved it, and I hope you guys will at least give it a chance. Okay, so so you heard the player's reason by the Riolu, um, I, honestly I, I, think it's, I think it's quite sound. Um, may, may, Maybe you guys can, can experiment with, with Riolu at some of your PCs or on Battlespot or something.